In this video, we will be reviewing over molarity, molality, and normality. Chemists describe solutions in terms of concentration. The most commonly used expression of concentration is molarity. So that molarity is the strength of the solution. The definition for molarity is the number of moles of solute dissolved in a liter of solution. Molarity is calculated using the following. Molarity is in units of moles per liter. So what does this mean for you? You can set up your problems using stoichiometry or dimensional analysis. If you are given grams, you will need to convert grams to moles. And if you're given milliliters, you will need to convert to liters. You will then divide your moles by liters, and you will have your molarity. Here we have an example of 5.7 grams of potassium nitrate dissolved in a 233 milliliter solution. What is the molarity? Remember, molarity is moles divided by liters. We must first take our 5.7 grams of potassium nitrate and convert it to moles. One mole of potassium nitrate weighs 101 grams from the periodic table. We get 0 0.056 moles of potassium nitrate. We take our 233 milliliters, convert that to liters. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters. We get 0.233 liters. We divide our moles, which is 0 0.056 moles, divided by our liters, and we have an answer of 0.24 molarity. In this example, we are asked to calculate the molarity of a solution that has 11.5 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolved in 1,500 milliliters of solution. We must first convert the 11.5 grams of sodium hydroxide to moles. We have the given 11.5 grams of sodium hydroxide. We have one mole over the weight of sodium hydroxide from the periodic table. That gives us 0.28 moles of sodium hydroxide. We take our 1,500 milliliters. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Convert to liters. To get our molarity, we have our moles divided by liters, and we get an answer of 0.186 molarity. Now, if you know the molarity of a solution, you can work backwards to find the volume or the mass of the solution that was dissolved. So let's look at some examples of how we would do this. In this problem, we were asked to find how many moles of silver nitrate are present in 25 milliliters of a 0.75 molar solution. The first thing we need to do is to convert from milliliters to liters. So we will take our 25 milliliters times 1 liter over 1,000 milliliters, and that will give us 0 0.025 liters. Now that we have that in place, we multiply this times our molarity, do remember that molarity is moles over liters. This allows liters to cancel out, and therefore we would have 0 0.0019 moles of silver nitrate. Here we have an example problem for you to practice. How many moles are there in a 205 milliliter of 0.172 molar solution? The answer and solution uh, worked out in detail is on the next slide. Here we have the solution to the problem. We can take that example problem and take it a step further. In this problem, we are given formalin, chemical formula, HCHO, and it's used to preserve uh, biological specimens. How many grams of HCHO formalin must be used to prepare 2.5 liters of a 12.3 molar formalin solution? We will take our 2.5 liters times 12.3 molarity. Again, molarity is moles per liter. Liters will cancel out, leaving 31 moles 
of HCHO. We now take our moles and we do a mole mass conversion. So once we do our mole mass conversion, we would have the following setup. We have our 31 moles of HCHO. We have one mole of HCHO, the weight of HCHO uh, from the periodic table, and we get 930 grams. Therefore, 2.5 liters of a 12.3 molar formalin solution contains 930 grams of formalin. One problem that comes up frequently in chemistry is to calculate the normality of a molar solution and vice versa. So let's look at how to keep from getting confused and how to convert between normality and molarity. Well, for a hydroxide basis, N equals little n m, where little n is the number of hydroxide ions in a chemical formula for a base. So if we had a 6 molar HCl solution, we would have 6 normality. If we had a 3 molar H2SO4 solution, we would have a 6 normality. If we had a 0 0.05 normality CaOH2, we would have a 0 0.025 molar solution. Now this is because we would divide the 0 0.025 by the two hydroxides that are present. We would not do these because these do not have the hydroxide. Let's look at an example. What is the molarity of a 0 0.06 normal strontium hydroxide solution? For the hydroxide base, big N equals little n m, where little n is the number of hydroxide ions in the chemical formula. Therefore, 0 0.06 from our problem would equal 2m because we have two hydroxides. Therefore, m, our molarity, would equal 0 0.03. Here we have a problem. We have 5 grams of potassium hydroxide that is dissolved in 250 milliliters of water. What is the molarity? The first thing we must do is we must convert from grams to moles. So we have our 5 grams of KOH times 1 mole over the weight of KOH from the periodic table. We then would take our 250 milliliters, we would convert that to liters. We divide our moles by liters, and we would have an answer of 0.356 molarity. We can also solve molarity problems using the following formula, M1V1 equals M2V2, where M is the molarity and V is the volume. Here we have an example of how much concentrated 18 molar sulfuric acid is needed to make 300 milliliters of a 6 molar solution. So we would have 300 times 6 would equal 18 times x. When we solve for this, we get that x equals 100. So we would add 100 milliliters of sulfuric acid to the beaker. Now remember that our equation is telling us that we will be making a 300 milliliter mixture. So 300 minus the 100 means that 200 milliliters will be water. And so if we mix 200 milliliters of water with 100 milliliters of sulfuric acid that is full strength 18 molar, we would make 300 milliliters 
of a six molar solution.